Hello, my lovelies. It's me, author Alexandria Fonte, here today with an actual review. <laughs> so now, remember how I said that I would be only be uh, reviewing short works of fiction, romance, or whatever. So now today, I actually found this really good one. Now, it is on Amazon, and it is $0.99. Cent. Now, this author isn't a part of our, um, a part of our uh, authors, because remember, I'm going to be picking shorts from Amazon until after July 10th, or you sending me your short work, the authors out there. And so today's book is called The Deadly Redhead, a Maggie Sullivan short story. Now, this is the epitome of short. <laughs> it's really short. It's 19 pages, um, but it is so intriguing and so funny in, like, the vernacular and everything that I just had to read it. So here is the cover, and it's called The Deadly Redheads. Um, so this book takes place during uh, the war, and I believe it's World War II. I say in that fast um and because they're talking about like there's no um cars aren't actually being like given out or made um and they're mostly doing like repurposing of tires and so what it is is miss sullivan is a private detective and so she gets a flat tire and now knowing that there isn't there there isn't really a way to buy a tire because at this time, basically most of the companies are using their factories for, um, you know, building wartime materials. So she knows that she can't get a new tire. So she um, basically talks to the guy at Chevrolet, um, Mr. Stump Stumps, and she gets him to agree to repurpose or refurbish her tire because pretty much that's all they're doing right now because you can't actually buy a real tire. And so he agrees and he's like, I got a long list of clients, but I'll go ahead and bump you to the front because I think it's the police chief who asked him to do it because he's her friend or whatever. And so, um, so basically she, um, she gets him to repurpose the tire but he says i have a little favor to ask so basically a favor for a favor and so she's like oh totally you know so she agrees and then she goes with him and he takes her to the factory and he shows her this window that was open and he's like there's no way that this window could be open because of the fact that um when i closed up last night as well as the night watchman we both made sure that this window was closed because of the fact that you know we didn't want people to get in or to steal or anything like that so um so basically he um he was like there's no way it could be you know no way someone could have broke into this and so she does like the little mental you know soliloquy of looking the scene over all of that stuff stuff that you know like a private detective would do um and so she's like, yeah, no, there's no way that they could, could have possibly got into this window. One, it's too high. Um, and then so she, so she asks him like a bunch of questions. And then he tells, he tells her about this woman who came to ask about a new car. She said she was Reverend so-and-so's daughter. And so he's like, okay. And so she, Miss Sullivan is pretty much like, okay, well, that seems a bit, you know, far-fetched. And then... Um, which is, that's not what she said, but I can't remember exactly what she said, but it was one of the things that I really loved about this book because they used the vernacular of that time period. And so, um, so basically he's like, yeah, uh, it did seem pretty weird to me, but because of the fact that, you know, she said she was the Reverend's daughter, I believed her. And so he, she like asked him for like the name and all the information, contact information on the Reverend's daughter. And so she goes to, like, just from the sleuthness of it, she goes to, like, meet the reverend's daughter. And she goes to, she calls first, and they're like, there's no one here by that name. The reverend has a daughter, but her name is Joy. And so she goes to meet, like, the reverend and his wife, and their daughter's only, like, 16 years old. 
And so basically when he told her about this redhead, he was like, wait a minute. She was like, wait a minute. I've seen like a crime spree. And so she goes, oh yes, by the way, this is a mystery. <laughs> and so she goes and, um, she's like, she starts looking for the like back newspapers. And then she finds these two women basically headed on a crime spree and they have killed people. They've been robbing banks in diamonds. And so she's like, but it doesn't make any sense because this isn't, you know, a diamond factory. It's a warehouse for cars and stuff like that. And so basically I'm going to stop there. The rest of this book is really intriguing. It's, but the problem is it's only 19 pages. So I'm, that would have taken you up to page 16. So I can't reveal the rest of it because then you went down. <laughs> so it is a t little tiny short read, but I'm telling you, it is so good. And it's written by, um, the book is called The Deadly Redheads, a Maggie Sullivan short story. And it's written by Miss M. Ruth Myers. And the, the picture is really cute. I wish you guys could see it because she's like a fiery redhead, but you can't, I used to be a redhead when I was young, um, but you can't see it because of this stupid computer. But the book was so good. It was only 19 pages, but it kept me like on my seat because I was like, okay, what's happening? And then, like I said, the vernacular of the time period, because I'm like a freak for that. Um, and then it was like, you know, say man you know that time and then it totally totally reminded me of miss marple i don't know if you guys actually watched the british version of miss maple um basically she is a a crime sleuth back in like the the 30s as well and um it's based like in australia and it's so good i saw the other day that um that she made an actual movie that i am totally gonna watch but um it reminded me totally of that and the book was so good i'm telling you it's only 99 cents on uh amazon right now and it's a mystery a crime mystery but it's set in the 30s i believe it is the 20s and 30s and so a lot of the vernacular is of that time period but to me that's what makes it even better because it it's like not like and most of the stuff out there right now so i really really enjoyed this it like i said it's only 19 pages because it's a very very short short um and since it says uh um the maggie sullivan short story i'm I think when I looked on to Amazon that it's more than one book. I'm not sure if this is a series or because it does say the end at the end of the book. So I'm not sure if it's an actual series or it's just something that she's doing um, to basically bump up the mystery genre. And I really love, because I love mysteries. I wish you guys would send me some mysteries or suggest some mysteries down there that I could review because I really love this little short. Um, and so once again, it's called the deadly head redheads and it's a Maggie Sullivan short story and it's by Ruth M. Ruth Myers. And here is the cover. Once again, you guys really need to go out and pick up this book cause it's so good. It's only 19 pages, like I said, but it's a really good read. Okay. So now just to touch on a few things that I said yesterday, um, remember, we still have that gift card to give out, so um, any of you readers out there, please make sure you're commenting on the videos because that is how you are entered to win. And then at some point, I will actually show the swag on the channel that we're going to be giving away for the summer. Um, I've finally gotten it, so that's going to be fun too. But you got to do a little bit more than just leave a uh, comment down there for the swag. So we actually made, you know, the all indie, indie only review channel t-shirts. And so for the summer, um, starting in July, like mid-July is when we will start to showcase them and we will be giving them out. Right now is not a good time. And then June, June and July, the beginning of July, I will be moving back to New York. So I will have so much on my plate, which is why I'm trying to get these books. I have eight books due um, before the summer hits because they've been in a lull. And like my readers are like, what the hell? 
So um, basically, I have to get that out. So with all of that, and then Jen going back to Hawaii, um, I, I'm trying to do it myself, so I have to do it like this. Um, also, the um, I'm looking at my little notes over here. <laughs> um, also, I remember the channel takeover. So I mentioned it yesterday. I'm going to mention it again. If you are an aspiring reviewer, or maybe not, or you just want your face out there, please, please come on and hit us up with your own personal review. Um, my only guidelines are that um, you don't use any profanity because of the fact that this is a budding YouTube channel. And so we, we, we can't say those type of things yet. Until YouTube recognizes our channel, we have to be PG. So that is the only thing that I'm asking is that you do, you remember your vernacular um, and you use it on a PG level. Um, you can review everything but Christian, Street Hustle, and nonfiction because we don't do those on the channel. So we probably wouldn't air it if it's in one of those genres. Um, you, but you can do anything else. And basically all you have to do is make your video and then send it to us at Multicultural Romance Latina. Sorry, I don't have a little makeup. I'm still in the writing process. Um, you can send it once again to Multicultural Romance Latina at gmail.com and then we will view the videos and then we will put them on the channel. So we're looking for those novice reviewers out there come on in send us your review um there's really no length me personally i can't be telling nobody how long their <laughs> their videos should be because i think i got some like 50 minute videos down there but um you know there's really no length the only thing that we do ask is that you don't give away the ending of the book because on this channel we don't do that we're trying to pull the readers to ask them if they want us to give away the end of the book but for right now me personally I always think it's janky when you ask somebody or they do a review and then they tell you the end because then it's like okay well what's the point of you watching it or reading it because you just gave away the ending like I have to fight myself so bad with my son my oldest son and I we are like discussing how to get away with murder and I've seen all the seasons and I've seen the the series finale but he hasn't and so any times he's like oh my god did you see blah 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 I have to catch myself because I want to just blurt out the <laughs> and he will just give me this look like I will stab you if you do <laughs> so basically I don't want to give up the end but that's up that's more or less up to you guys if you want us to give away the ending then you know we will but I kind of feel like that defeats the purpose and so basically those are my only guidelines that you 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 know keep it PG there really is no length to the content because since we are a sort of recognized YouTube channel you can do a video that's like 40 minutes um, and then basically that's pretty much it you can pick any of those genres except for that one um, and then, um, remember, I'm only reviewing short stories until the 10th of July. If you are an author out there and you have a short story, you are an indie author, please, please make sure that you send them in to us because you are who I am going to be reviewing right now. And then once we pass July 10th, then I will go back to the normal length, long reviews and long books for the, the submission authors that, who are waiting in the wings. You guys will go first before any other submissions that we get in for normal books because you've been waiting the longest. So, but for right now, I'm only reviewing the short stories. So if you have a short story and it is under 80 pages, that is the that's kind of what I'm going by right now if it's under 80 pages that is beautiful send it in send it in as a submission and we will do it on the channel because that's pretty much all we're doing right now and that's pretty much it I don't think there's anything else um and I will see you guys tomorrow with a new review of a short show peace love see you soon